Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is Ad Actor World Transform. We're not really going to go over this one in much depth. It's a pretty simple note. It is the companion node to the Ad Actor Local Transform. It's going to go ahead and let me recombine these. We're going to take in a target of an actor. We're going to have a delta transform. Basically by delta they mean how much is this going to change. And it's going to be allowed to sweep or teleport. Now the reason we're not going to cover this too much is this is basically a helper node that combines the add actor, not actor, yeah, add actor world offset nodes. So here, let's, let's, let's use some um, intelligence here and show you what I'm talking about. Here we go. So we have the add actor world offset and add actor rotation nodes. The transform node basically just combines these two into one helper node. So if we split this, we're going to find a location, rotation, and scale. The location is our offset. How much are we going to add or subtract from the current location? The rotation. How much are we going to add or subtract from the current rotation? And then the scale, which doesn't seem to work. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Let me go ahead and recombine these. And I'm going to go ahead and use a make transform to show you this. Let me move these over to my X, Y, and Z. And let's go ahead and hit play. When we hit play, we have our simple item. And I want to add 100 to the Z. And it's going to add 100 to the Z. And it's going to do it in the world space system. Just as a recap, remember world space pretty much ignores rotation. So if I say 100 and Z, it's going to be up in world space. It's not going to be up in the local space. The rotation works the same way. However, like I mentioned, the scale doesn't seem to work right. So let's go ahead and set the scale based on my settings. We'll go ahead and we'll type in 1, 1, and 1, and hit enter. 2, uh, 50. If we go ahead and show our transform box, you'll notice it's still showing 1. No matter what values I put in here, it seems to be hard-coded to a scale of 1. So that's something to keep in mind. Basically, this is going to combine the offset, which is our location, and our rotation, but our scale is pretty much ignored. So if you have an issue with add actor world transform, trying to set the scale or adding to the scale, I have a feeling it just simply hard codes it to one. Sweeping and teleport work the same way as the individual nodes. To summarize, teleport if you need something to teleport without physics going crazy. Sweep if you need it to physically hit something while you are changing the transform. So sweeping turned on. Let's go ahead and break this again. I'm using the control key, by the way, to move these. And let's go ahead and replay. We have sweeping turned on. I say move to the right a lot. It says no. I hit a wall. I can't do it. I say do it anyways. And, uh, you know, let's go 900. Just, just go. Nope. Not going to happen. We are using the sweep option. And sweep is hitting. And it's basically being stopped. And it will return a hit result. That's it. That's going to wrap up the add actor world transform node. Basically combines the add actor world offset and add actor world rotation nodes into one nice little node. And scaling does not seem to work at this time as a version 4.12.